Today's episode is something interesting for many of you, which I don't usually do. But because marami sa inyo ang magtanong, can you give us some makeup tutorial? Or can you interview a cabin crew who can show us a makeup tutorial? We are here right now at the AirAsia Redpoint office. And with me is Steph Garcia, an AirAsia All-Star flight attendant, who is ready to show you how, um, how to do uh, flight attendant makeup following AirAsia standards. So Steph, why is the airline um, very particular with makeup when it comes to cabin crew? Well, sir, technically speaking, um, flight attendants are the brand ambassadors of the airline. Yeah. So, uh, we really have to look good mm -hmm. in front of our beloved customer to show good impression. Yeah. So, how do we do that? By taking care of our skin, mm -hmm. our hair, even our nails, and by putting on our makeup. And in addition, mm -hmm. we do a reflection of the company. So, that's the main reason why they are so particular not just with the makeup but with yeah. the overall grooming of the cabin crew working for them all right so can you explain to us briefly uh what the makeup standard of air asia is um for the all-star cabin crew well the air asia standard when it comes to the makeup um it embodies um fun with a dash of self-expression okay. that is the reason why we are allowed to put um any makeup style but provided that it enhances our appearance yeah. and it complements the uniform. So in our case, as you can see, we are wearing red. Mm -hmm. So we are not allowed to put on bright colors yeah. such as green or blue for our eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. That's it. But you know what, Sir Mon, the most important thing about our look is we always top up our look with our smile. Of course, yes. because the smile of a flight attendant is part of the uniform and um, Air Asia is very particular with the smile of their all stars. Yes. All right. So Steph, um, you know what? I'm sure um, our followers right now are waiting, and they're actually they want to see how it's done. So can you show us how to do? Uh, how you can you show us how to do the Air Asia? All-Star Makeup Standard. Yes, of course. So, are you ready? So, dito, papakita na ni Steph kung paano gawin or Steph is gonna show us how it's done. How the AirAsia uh, makeup, how the standard AirAsia makeup is done. Right? So, here we go. I'm going to teach you how I usually do my makeup. So, first is I have to wipe my hand first because alam nyo na, we have to be clean all the time. Mm -hmm. So next is, um, I always start off with the moisturizer. So yung moisturizer ko, siya muna nilalagay ko before anything else on my face. Kasi it reduces skin problems such as um, acne, blemishes. So yan, naging doon natin. Alam mo, hindi ako usually gumagawa ng makeup vlogs. <laughs> but dahil sa inyo mga followers na, eto ako doing a makeup vlog. Well, this is in relation naman sa Kabi Crew. And I know this will be very important sa lahat ng mga aspirants right now watching and who are really asking, who has a question in mind, how do flight attendants do their makeup? So, ito mismo si Steph, pinapakita niya kung paano. Yes. So, next naman, um, sunscreen. Ito yung pinaka-importante talaga, sir. Kasi, kasi ito, pinaprotect talaga nito yung skin natin from the UV ray. So, usually, even on cloudy days, I put sunscreen eh. Kasi sobrang importante talaga nito. Mm -hmm. So, may actually, medyo late ko nga siya na, na laman eh. Dapat pala, at a very young age, naglalagay ka na talaga ng protection for your skin, which mm -hmm. is itong sunblock. Ilang SPF yun? Um, yung sa akin is 50. Okay. Is it required sa airline? Or sa actually, airline? hindi naman siya required na mag-sunblock ka, pero sobrang importante lang talaga ng sunblock sa yeah. skin kasi it prevents your skin from aging eh. So, mm -hmm. Siyempre, yung mga makeups, madami siyang na nagagawa sa skin mo na minsan hindi maganda. So, I always protect my skin with the sunblock. Ganyan. And yun nga, being at, 30, <coughs> at uh, 38,000 feet above, you're closer to the sun. And no matter what, um, the, uh, the cabin crew 
are more exposed to the UV rays brought by the sun. You know, mga exactly. papasok sa window ng aircraft. So, it's a, so tamang ginagawa ni Steph, she puts protection using sunblock. Yes. And sorry pala sa rulers ko, sir. Kasi, um, syempre, your hair is your crown. So, before I put on my makeup, I always make sure na mirror rulers ko na since I have a really short hair, kailangan ko siyang i-volumize. So, mm-hmm. later after the makeup ko, when I remove the rulers, you will see na yung bagsak ng hair ko with it. Um, we have um, different uh, ways kung paano gawin yung hair namin. Pero, may rules kami na your hair should be above the armpit mm-hmm. level. So, yung mga mahahaba yung buhok, usually kinakurl nila yung hair nila. Or pwede rin ibon and French twist. Yun lang yung approve ng Air Asia sa amin. And since ako, short yung hair ko, I don't want it to be so boring. Kaya nilalagyan ko siya ng rulers para at least may volume siya. So, so p- iba-ibang techniques din mm-hmm. eh. Like yung may mga nag-curl din, nilalagyan pa rin nila ng mm-hmm. rollers. Ayun. Pero pansin ko yung air asia, okay lang pala na, I mean, you're, you, I mean it's okay to have uh, colored hair, right? Like yes. yours. Mm-mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. like yours. Kasi, um, sir, sa air asia, um, basta ma, ano mo lang, ma, ma-show off mo mm-hmm. yung personality mo, mm-hmm. It's good for them, eh. pero siyempre yung mga metallic colors, mm-hmm. which won't complement the color of the uniform, mm-hmm. yun hindi nila inaalaw. So, sometimes, you have to seek for the approval mm-hmm. of the executives before coloring your hair. Okay. Pero allowed sa amin, any color, basta nagko-complement sa mm-hmm. uniform. Next, pala sir, I, I put on the primer. So, yung primer kasi, parang matagal yung kapit ng makeup. Mm-hmm. Since, the ba, sa flight attendant, we've been working for like, eight hours mm-hmm. or more so kailangan yung makeup namin talagang mat for long mm-hmm. ano talaga eh. so na I, I usually put primer on my mm-hmm. face para ma hold yung makeup up until mm-hmm. tapos na yung flight okay. so next naman sir is eto foundation na mm-hmm. so ang pinaka importante when it comes to the foundation is you have to know your skin color mm-hmm. so in my case kasi i'm acidic so I get foundation like lighter than my skin color because um, at the end of the day, feeling ko minsan nagda-darken yung face ko. So lighter yung color na kinukuha ko mm-hmm. kasi nga para pag huli na pantay pa din yung uh-huh. face ko. Um eyebrows na po tayo. Okay. So nasa kilay na tayo. After foundation, sir, I always right. put my eyebrows mm-hmm. next in ice cream eyebrows ko after ng foundation kasi since may bangs naman ako, I don't have to put too much effort on it. Mm-hmm. So, minsan, like, mascara, ito mm-hmm. lang ginagamit ko. Mascara for the, ano, eyebrows lang. Since, ah, uh, hindi naman manipis mm-hmm. yung eyebrows ko eh. So, minamascara ko lang siya. And since may bangs naman ako, dito ako medyo magpo-focus talaga sa eyeshadow. Okay. So, we are now at the eyeshadow part mm-hmm. of this makeup tutorial. In Air Asia, sir, we require a uh, maximum of three eye, uh, eyeshadow colors. So, usually, since we're all wearing masks, um, sa eyeshadow ako nagpuput ng effort. Because that's the only thing that the passengers can see now, eh, yeah. uh, yung eye part. So, first is... Pero before, um, before, before this, ano, before uh, pre-pandemic, mm-hmm. ano yung naging standard sa eyeshadow? Um, maximum of three colors and minimum of two colors. Okay. So, usually, nagkukulay talaga kami sa eyeshadow. But since we're wearing red lipstick sometimes, mm-hmm. kailangan medyo light yung eyeshadow namin. Okay. Kasi nag-red lipstick kami, we can wear red lipstick eh. But now, since we have masks, mm-hmm. hindi naman nakikita ng passengers na we have ma- na may lipstick kami or what. So, yung eyeshadow namin, medyo dinadarka namin para at least nakikita yung nakikita ng pasahero okay. is yung yung eye part na emphasize na emphasizing eyes correct, correct. so ayan so magstart ako binibasean ko muna siya ayan next naman on the side of my eyes lagi akong nagda dark mm-hmm. kasi gusto ko dark yung eyes ko ayan and then sa ilalim nilalagyan ko din siya to make my eyes look bigger yeah so, kung mapapansin niyo, sir, uh, Air Asia is also allowed to wear eyelashes. Oh. So, after ng eyeshadow, usually, um, eto na yung ginagawa ko sa lalit. 
Mm-hmm. Eyeliner. Okay. Ayan. There. So... Tapos sa wedding eyeliner? Yes! Yes. Nakikita ba nila? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Kita niya yung <laughs> eyeliner. So, yun. Ayan. And then... And then, the eyelashes. Eyelashes. Ay, natututunan ka ba, sir? <laughs> <laughs> May Ayan. natutunan ba ako? <laughs> Tapos, medyo papatiyoyin ko lang siya. Actually, most of the time, this is the hardest part for yeah. me. Because, sometimes, it ruins my eyeshadow. So, I have to to retouch my eyeshadow hmm. over again. Pero sana kaya makisama siya. So, if you want to be an all-star, um, an Air Asia all-star cabin crew, um, if you want to learn their makeup, please do follow the step-by-step process provided by Steph herself. Ayan, nakabit ko na siya. There. See, as you can see, sobrang laki ng difference ng right eye ko sa left yep. eye ko. Solid. Ayan. So next, concealer. I usually apply the sponge as well. Mm. Usually, yung ibang crew nagbe-bake sila. Mm. Um, baking is uh, one way to hide your yeah. under eye circle. So, your dark circle. So, you know what? Maraming nagtatanong rin na paano kung may konting mold dito, may konting ano, let's say, mark, na-hide naman yun ng concealer. Yes, right? na-hide siya ng concealer. So, for the aspiring cabin crew na like pupunta sa recruitment mm-hmm. ano don't worry about your marks kasi naka-hide naman siya through uh, makeups naman so right now we are here in the concealer portion para matakpan yung mga dark spots tama yes. you get it right dark spots or um, those blemishes na pwede ma-hide so after that, we're almost done, but in my case, sometimes I remove my mask, mm-hmm. like sometimes when I'm drinking, then yan, when I'm eating during break time, I mean when I have spare time and uh, in our flight, uh, I remove my mask to eat and to drink. So uh, I also put on blush on and I contour my, uh, my jawline. Mm-hmm. Yan. So, compared before, mm-hmm. Sir Mon, talagang before talagang full, full gear up kami kasi wala kaming mask, mm-hmm. ba? So, yun yung talagang matagal because we have to do contouring, ganyan. So, since now na nakamask naman. Mm-hmm. So, any difference pa rin ng when you were um, before, when you were not in mask and now that you're in mask, any difference ngayon in terms of um, everything, your whole makeup. Um, hindi na siya like full makeup na talagang pati this side. Kasi pwede kang magkaroon ng acne eh. Mm-hmm. When you put too much makeup on this side and then you're wearing mask. Yeah. So, this time, um, we are preventing a mask ne, as that's what they call mm-hmm. it. So, this time, sa side na to, as you can see kanina, hindi ko na in-lower yung foundation ko mm-hmm. because yeah. um, magmamask ka naman mm-hmm. and baka mamaya ma, magkaroon pa ng something sa face mo because of the mask and the makeup kasi yeah. so before kasi talaga from 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 dito up to your whole face mm-hmm. kailangan naka foundation eh yeah. but this time um uh, yung sa eyes talaga yung mm-hmm. pinaka inaano namin in focus, in focus. Yeah. next is ayan um fo- uh, blush on Anyway, this is my favorite part. Ayan. What's that part? Nose line. <laughs> oh, the nose line. <laughs> yes, kasi kahit may mask ka, uh, nakita yung part na to eh. So, so sa mga nagtatanong rin kung pwede yung flat nose um, sa airline, um, it really depends sa requirements. I mean, but there's no discrimination na kailangan uh, we should have a sharp nose or 
what as far as I know there's no discrimination when it comes to your nose profile but of course there's always a way to make your nose uh, look more attractive yes nakita mo ba yung difference? nakita niyo yung difference? Nakita there you go yeah kita kita <laughs> Yeah. Kita, kita. So, to all those watching right now, I hope you've uh, um, got, I, I, I hope uh, that um, this tutorial has helped you a lot, has given you a lot of tips on how to do your makeup, especially if you're gonna um, attend a, an interview or siguro every day if you just want to have that uh, flight attendant that makeup feel, at least you have that tutorial directly from Steph. Especially if you love Air Asia and if you and if it's your dream to be an all-star flight attendant one day. So last step for my ano, makeup sa face, lipstick. So most of the time people would ask me questions like, why are you still wearing lipstick? You're wearing mask. Mm -hmm. So as I've said earlier, sometimes kasi, uh, we need to eat the bother yeah. flight. So, may mga moment na hindi mo naman sinasadya, the passengers uh, will pass by and pwede ka nilang makita. So, in case na like, you're eating or you're drinking water, at least uh, pag nakababa yung mask mo, they would see na uh, well-groomed ka pa din. Yes, yes. So, kaya nagli-lipstick pa din talaga ako. So, as you can see, yeah. Air Asia really love um red. Yes. So, kahit yung mga cabin crew namin. Diba? There you go. So, nakita niyo naman yung transformation ni Steph, right? Uh, from um, the bare-faced um, Steph to the one wearing the Air Asia All-Star makeup. Yes. And then, para mag-even lang yung color, I put uh, face powder. But you know what? This doesn't only go for if you want to wear the Air Asia All Star makeup. You can, I think, you can use this for everyday, for everyday um, use. Yes, like for date yeah. nights. Yeah, yeah, like date that. nights. Ito ba yung nagaid mo rin for date nights? <laughs> <laughs> much, much ano siya mas red kapag ka date night. Ah, ah kasi. Well, in Air Asia, we're not allowed to wear super dark red, like oh, plum. Yeah. Yeah. It's not allowed in Air Asia. But we're allowed to wear something like this, like yes. bright red. So it has to complement basically the uniform. Yes, the uniform. Yes. And then, um, next is the last part. Mm -hmm. It's the highlighter. And I think one reason why they're also particular with, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Mm -hmm. uh, with the uh, with the shade of your makeup, it's not only to with the shade of the lipsticks, not only to complement your uniform, but to emphasize your smile. Um yes, because there are um colors that would make your teeth look whiter. Yes, that's the only advice that I can give them. Mm -hmm. Now you choose the lipstick that will fit you based on the color of your teeth. Mm -hmm. So. If it makes your teeth look whiter, that's the best color yeah. for you. Kenyan. And always remember that as a flight attendant, their smile is part of the uniform. Yes. Even if we are wearing masks, mm -hmm. people can see that you're smiling yes. through your eyes. Through your eyes. Yes. That's the reason that we put too much effort on our eyeshadow. Kasi dun nakikita ng passengers yeah. yung reaction mo pa din, even mm -hmm. if you're wearing masks. And I believe that if you even if you smile under your mask, even if you have a if you, even if you have a mask and you smile, you still bring out that uh, positivity. That, yes, exactly. Um, you feel good, mm -hmm. and you know, um, you just when 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 you feel good, it, it goes it, go, it it also goes with the way how you serve your passengers. Yes. You ensure their safety mm -hmm. and how yeah. you carry on um, your the values of being an Air Asia All Star. Yes. And during this time, we need to send positive vibes to people yes. all over the world. Especially so, like finish na yung makeup tutorial. So, program. there you have it. The uh, makeup tutorial brought to you by Steph, um, an, an Air Asia All-Star. And she showed you the complete steps from a bare face Steph all the way to 
to a Steph with the full Airisha standard makeup. So if you guys want to practice, you can always just rewind and rewind this video. Do you have any vlogs or any? Um, no, but you can follow my Instagram account. Okay. By that, you can also ask questions from me. Um, follow me on Instagram at Steph P Garcia. There. So if you have questions, okay, Steph, on her makeup, or you can put it down in the comment section right now, or you can directly message Steph. Yes. All right. So thank you very much, thank Steph. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much being for here. having me. Thank you. Yes, for being here and for really showing us how you did your makeup from bare face to full makeup. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. So thank you for everyone for watching and see you on the next episode. Bye everyone.